going to be a journey. My face is not that important. What I want to share with you is enough to get up so you actually see what's going on and I step to the side. What I have here is what's supposed to make you alkaline. I have alkaline water. I have different salts. I have my Ormus, my Galactivate. I have the pH level meters from 4.5 to 7.5. So just to make one thing clear, bottled water, gas station bottled water, we can actually visually show on what level we are. So this is gas station bottled water and I'm using a pH indicator. You see this? That means the water is acidic. That's less than 4.5. That's probably 2. See here, the indicator almost yellow. When we're yellow, we actually, this is level 2 pH. Okay? So when the level, and you can do this at home, this is enagic.com, a water company that produces liquid pH indicators. And that's like, I think, FDA approved and lab approved. So you can repeat this over and over for yourself to see what I'm talking about. And a little bit miraculous what I'm about to show you. So they say a like Himalayan salt, or this is like a, a Redman uh, that sea salt. And um, what I do is with this Redman's, Redman salt is I will basically take that salt and drop a little bit in here. Color is not changing. Okay, so it doesn't really effectively alkalize the water. So to add to this, I'm going to use some Mediterranean sea salt. Color is not considerably changing. I'm using, and this is now beginning, I'm, I'm beginning to overwhelm the system. I'm adding Hawaiian sea salt, which is, mind you, um, it's not bad to use the salt. You know, you see that, you know, I'm shaking changing this so is um, uh, when your body is alkalized this turns either blue or purple okay I want this to be off the scale so you've seen all the salts that don't have really the effect that we want on the body so it doesn't matter I mean I say eat the salts please get Hawaiian salt please get all of these salts but in order to, you see how it's like changing like, like well, mild green, that's like we're reaching a level of five. You can say 5.5. See, it's not really a lot happening here, as you can tell. And I'm already overwhelming the system. That's me saying that you take 250 grams of salt in order to have a daily alkalinity level. But what doesn't make sense is I'm overwhelming you with sodium, which is what you do not need. Let me uh, pour this out and you can do this at home, you know. And you can also do this with my product and if it doesn't work I get you two bottles and your money back so I challenge you so again the base is the baseline is and I'm glad like I had to study science and really get into this thing to really understand what's going on and watch many many people for years but how do I show them physical proof and data that what I have actually works so we have tried the three salts in combination actually overwhelming the system, not changing much. So what I want to show you is again, the system is acidic. Okay, now make it very acidic. And I always say that my nanospherical sand, it's not a soluble, so it does not dissolve in water. Okay, there's no mix taking place. What I showed you was about cell absorption. What you want to know about cell absorption is the stomach needs to be acidic the cells need to be alkaline but in order to do that you need very very little to inspire the body to go there so many companies claim they have alkaline water this that and the other I want to show you basically what I want to show you is I'm using my nanospherical quartz sand that I put in the key that does not dissolve in this water and look what happens to the water you see this it alkalizes. Shake this a little bit and it almost turns purple. See how it alkalizes? The, the, the sand does not dissolve. These are crystals. This is not salt. You understand? That means you 
having that, I mean, and if you have, have enough in there, you know, you'll see. Let me pump this a little bit, like as much as I would put in a key. So you can actually really see. See, we're past the seven barrier. This is like eight and nine. And that's just by creating photons in the dead water that shows you I'm bringing the life in the water back. See this? My finger's getting all dirty. I'm getting all messy here, but that's that's how it is. You see this? Now this is alkalized 100%. So you wearing the Gamatron key actually alkalize, beginning to alkalize around your heart. Those with heart problems, you will feel the difference when you get into it. This science is revolutionary and about to take off. So you'll see in a minute when it goes industrial, it's going to go crazy. So prepare yourself. So this is what alkalized water looks like. And you can do that at home. Well, I have to see now the sand doesn't dissolve. Now I got to clear this out. I keep the camera running so you actually know what's going on. And I turned this into an entire mess. So give me a minute. I got to pour the sand out because it alkalizes the water, which is what I don't want. So again, I'll show you bottled water baseline acidic okay this is like very acidic I put like a couple of drops one is actually enough I'm gonna clean my hands a little bit to show you this here so now uh, this is uh, supposedly alkaline water so let's see what a little sip will do to your body see this we're reaching roughly 6.5 with alkalinity with water that says it's super alkaline. So you can't drink two gallons a day just to keep your alkalinity going. Your body needs an initial contact and you need, your cells need to absorb. The best way was liquid, as I showed you, the liquid way. And that's what we want. So how do we find a way for your cells? When I can go even more miraculous, um, I have na uh, from the nano sand, I have the particles here uh, and that's what the sand looks like in the bigger formation. And if I, again, use acidic water, you have to follow me here. Really, really pay attention and take notes. You see all the products here, what I'm using. This is Galactivate. This is what I'm selling in my Etsy store, actoriancouncil.etsy.com. So, again, you know, I went to enagic.com and acquired the pH indicator in liquid form. This is what this looks like. So, I don't know if one pebble is enough. These little pebbles bring trees back, bring bushes back, bring, uh, I don't know if you have little ponds and I add a little more, I can bring that back. So I put these things in here. All they do is they are crystal balls that store and emanate light. So all you see, and hopefully with th this wrong light hitting it, I can have a little effect. I mean, I can already see it. See, this will take overnight. I have nothing to stir it with. Let me see if I can find something real quick here. As I keep the camera running, you see this is all like live. And um, let me see, I wanted to show you this. So let me get this real quick so I can show you that there is a difference taking place. So I think I found something to stir the water with. So the light is beginning to emanate. You see on the bottom where it's already beginning to turn? And you mix that a while. I could turn it more, basically. If I would increase that, and that's the same substance you see here, again, I'm adding to the light structure. And I'm going to lose those because I can't really filter that out. You see how the water is changing? This is all based on nanomaterial that brings the life force back. So this is slightly green. I would have to see. Ah, OK, here we go. So because I never know how that kicks in. So we're alkalizing the water with nanotech. I have to pour this and lose this. Too bad I gotta fish that out later on. So I wanna go to the heart of the matter. I showed you the salt. I showed you what my nanomaterial does when actually water is close to it. Like actually a, a pebble like this is enough. 0 0.8 millimeters in here and in the morning this will be purple. It takes more time because the body needs to get in resonance. So then 
I found a guy who was selling these machines uh, at the UFO Congress in Scottsdale and I was like, what does he do with this tincture? And he used all of these salts and I didn't see that change. And then he had this, this is like $125. Uh, how much is that? How many milliliters? What does that say? A 250 milliliter bowl with, and here's what they do with their salt. I mean, it's called Wellbeing Creator. I'm not a seller for this. I'm just testing just to see the difference in product. And he says, you need this five times a day and your mineral household is corrected and you're uh, alkaline. And I said, so well, what does that do when you put it in the acidic? Let's say that's the body, mineral household, average acidic level. And I'm taking this salt and I do this. This is the salt. You see this? Do you really, do you see this? That's why it's $125. You take a pinch, five pinches a day, and your body is in a correct alkaline way. So I was thinking, if this dude has, I mean, I bought one because I'm like, this is amazing. And I'm using the salt and I feel the difference with thinking, structuring, all of this. But so I was like, I want, I want to know, see, see how this changed? That's like probably 8.5, between 8.5 and 10. See, also when it goes blue and indigo, I also say that's the salt cosmic level. That's my, you can say my little storyline that I create is if you go on cosmic, you know, from the lower planes, you go into the higher planes, the color gets more, more higher frequency. And now I want to show you, which is my breakthrough, my baby, that proves my point. I photonically enhance Galactivate, which is this here best product commercial ever and you can do it at home like I said if his salt this salt is prayed to it's washed it's hand treated it's sunbathed and it's blessed and all of that good stuff and uh, treated and retreated and repeat processed like 400 processes to make this holy and blessed salt that's why it's so effective well I'm doing the same thing with my Ormus then I was like, what is if I, let me see, take a dropper, let me see me, of my Ormus, which I call Galactivate, to activate the people that are actually taking it, to show you this. And this is one drop that's less than what I put in there in salt. Now watch. I'm alkalizing your body. See this? I can shake this, it almost turns purple. So that is the, the proof without a shadow of a doubt that Ormus, orbitally re rearranged monoatomic ele elements, is an alkalizer. So I realized you buy this bottle, you can have a lot of supply. You can take a teaspoon in the morning and a teaspoon at night and you're covered. You can also uh, get a dropper and refill it it settles on the floor. Sometimes you have liquid and then you have Ormus. You can take five drops a day and the alkalinity, see here, that I'm higher than this scale. Unfortunately, the scale stops. You have to get a bigger scale, like a color chart. 7.5 is green. That turns into like blue, indigo, and then it goes purple. I mean, if you take more drops, I mean, I can show you, the tincture is ready to absorb even more. So you do, you do this, you wanna see how this goes purple? When you do this during the day, well, here we go. What do we, what do we, we're coming close to purple. You see this? That's my magic and that's my proof to show to you that I'm effectively alkalize, alkaline, alkalizing your body and your cells. And what I wanted to share with you is what you have to know is it doesn't make sense that just put salt upon salt upon salt in your seasoning and in, in your foods in order to be alkalized in all the foods because they do not cover it. What covers it is when you go past the threshold of seven, you have a higher pH level and you let it sit on your tongue and it goes directly into your brain. That makes it effective, makes your body more powerful and all the things that I describe in my Etsy store. And please do your own investigation. Like I said, it's called enagic.com, liquid pH indicator. You can do it yourself. Get gas station bottled water which is the best to show you it's acidic. I mean, I can put it in the bottle, so you see there's no trick. See, I put that in the bottle. It's acidic. It's like the wackest you can ever drink. I, we know Coke and soda pop and all of that stuff is acidic. 
Like again, I can show you, I use my dropper and put that in the bottle. What happens to the bottle? Boom, yeah, there you go, alkaline. And that's what you wanna do with your cells, not with your stomach. I did an alkaline diet where I ruined my stomach by drinking uh, liters and liters upon liters and my, my the, the inner lining of my digestive system, while well, alkaline, any doctor will tell you, you need an acidic level to process food, not an alkaline level in your stomach. Hence, less is more. You take a little bit less and you don't have to buy it from me, buy it from anybody you would see. You see this here, get into the system, understand how it works, enhance your body and have the knowledge to really physically what takes place and this was for you to enhance your mindset to see really what's going on thank you for watching me this was a little science show so i uh, hope you know more and you're better and i most certainly see you on the flip side